second attempt here as my first attempt got shut down because uh, the app crashed. But hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, what I was explaining in the first part when it crashed was I literally just opened up the two added daily packs. I didn't get anything crazy from it, so no big deal. Um, just going to do that. Now I'm just going to release Thompson here. Uh, so yeah, so we're back. We got packs to open up. Um, I had to delete and re-download the game, so I might you might be seeing some pop-up screens occur. But we have three sig packs today. Wow, I got two hundred condition drinks and a league ball, whatever. Uh, eight premium skill change tickets. It'll only be eight. I will be one short of a um mm. of another one. So three skill sig packs. We've got the eight premium skill change tickets. No pre no diamond trainers today. We do have like premium trainers, gold trainers. I'll just go do the exchange now. I'm also one gold or one silver short of a gold trainer, which is nice. But again, it doesn't really matter that much. Do I have any premium trainers? I didn't think I saw any. Oh, I do, I have three. Okay, so I need 15 spots. Just going to check. I believe I have 15. I have 14, yikes. Do I know? Wow, I don't have a single, oh. It's a pitching one. Let me just get rid of her real quick. There it is. It's not even that bad. Hold up. Let me see if there's any crazy stamina ones here. Two, two. Hmm. Like it's location and velocity with stamina. Which is why it's not terrible. Like this one's just too low. So I'll get rid of that one. Okay. Cool. So now I have 15... So trainers are all set. Um, and yeah, you know, we've got some, got a hundred premium packs from, a lot of them have come from the dice, or the wheel event. So got a good amount of stuff to do today. Uh, I will be checking in and out on the score of the Braves game because the Mets are about to face off against the Braves in a series that will virtually determine who out of those two get the final wild card spot in the National League? Right now, the Mets currently host a two game lead over the Braves. So the Braves do play the Marlins today, currently, and the Mets play the um, the Mets play the Phillies tonight. So the Mets have actually. Uh, taken two games so far from the Phillies, which has been nice to keep them in contention with the Braves as the Braves have lost a game against the Marlins. So that was pretty big. Um, but, I mean, other than that, uh, we got football going on. I don't like to check my fantasy. Oh, there's the Francis guy. I don't like to check. The fact that he's a reliever is crazy. He's a starter. But whatever. Um... I'm just going to get rid of the team select packs now because I think I have um, enough. See, I have enough space for both. So here are the Mets live ones. But yeah, so it's going to be very interesting coming down the stretch. Uh, I never thought that, especially at the beginning of the season, that the Mets would be any way in contention for a playoff spot. But yet, here they are. As we don't pull anything from the... Uh, team select packs there. So I will just update my odds and we will continue forward. So, uh, baseball news. So, like, Lindor hasn't played this week because um, while running to second base against the Phillies last Saturday, it was either Friday or Saturday on a double, uh, he did not slide, did not realize that the throw was coming to second base, not home. And then um, kind of, like, did something to his back. So the Mets didn't want to, like, put him on the 10-day IL because then that'd be a whole big thing. So they just had him on day-to-day, -day, but he hasn't played this week. It's been Luis Angel Acuna, who's been playing very well, I will say, so far. It's a knock on wood. Um, I believe in 
20 something at bats or plate appearances he has he has three home runs two doubles and a triple along with like some singles here and there with a couple of walks and a couple of strikeouts Craig Kimball staying I'm just gonna remember that's the rule guys Diamond Prime stay oh he moved one over oh man that is unfortunate but whatever but yeah, so that's been uh, the case with the Mets. Um, it's going to be interesting to see. I know the Mets want to have Lindor back for the first game against the Braves, which is on Tuesday. So it will be interesting to see if he does come back, how he does, and then let alone if he does come back just in general. Oh, my family's just back. They went out shopping. So that's cool to see. Um... So, so I, I was going to try and do something on my computer, check the score, but it didn't really work. So I'm just going to use my phone here to check it. So, uh, let's see. Braves are currently winning 4-2. to two. All right. And, I mean, that's honestly expected due to the fact that the Braves are facing off against... The Marlins, Marlins are not that good. The Braves are good. So the fact that the Marlins won a game was very, uh, very important because there was one game the Mets got absolutely owned by the Phillies. They lost twelve to two, and that was the game that the uh, the Phillies or the Marlins beat the Braves. So important stuff right there. So, um, what was I going to talk about? So the first week of challenge ended, club challenge. And what's interesting is that there is the five days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, in which club challenge occurs, in which you face different pitchers, and you've got to try and and hard either score as many points as you can, more than 1,000, normal, get up to 1,000, all that type of stuff. I did not realize until yesterday that when it's that sixth day, because Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are five, that's the five regular days, that sixth day is a bonus day in which you can choose whatever pitcher you want to face. So it would make the most theoretical sense to go after the pitcher who you have the worst record against. Or the least amount of points. So, like, there was a time I faced, I think it was whoever was the Thursday pitcher. I faced him on hard twice, and I lost both times, so I only got 300 points. So, on Saturday, I could have faced him again and gone to get uh, a better score. Um, But I didn't know that until after I played my club, club challenges. So, I said I will dish out that information to you guys in case you guys did not realize that. Um, but with that being said, I know that, um, if you complete, is what they're calling it, the 1,000 or 10,000 points, or whatever the threshold is that they want you to get for each pitcher, uh, you will, I think it's 10,000 points, uh, you will end up getting, um, 300 stars, so if you beat every, um, if you beat every single arm that is uh, faced against you, you get more than 10,000 points. In two weeks, you get 1,500 stars, which is pretty decent for my uh, fellow players out there who like to use stars for refreshes. That's five refreshes. I, of course, don't use stars for refreshes. Definitely not yet. Probably in the future I might um, because I'm still trying to search for my final elusive bullpen sig um even though of course i have a sig change ticket that i could use but i'm not going to use it on that because i asked you guys what you wanted me to do with my sig change ticket over on my most recent community tab post it was either use it on a reliever save it and then when a reliever comes out of the game that i already have saved up i can just throw it on him or Use a normal GI 
and normal black diamond ticket and make Mike Piazza a SIG and then have him as my DH, which is kind of unfortunate because that means I have to say goodbye to Wade Boggs. He's been my longest standing legend in my lineup. I think he was my first or second legend that I ever pulled. And he's been doing pretty good, but as of late, he's just become a home run or bust type of hitter. And while that's good, it could be a bit better. So, a bunch of diamonds here. I hope I hope pull one of them. Again, I doubt it, but you know. Oh, nice, I did. Okay. So, and then, speaking of SIGs, my plan is that whenever I pull my last team reliever SIG, get him into my lineup, I will then go about and every single signature card that I get, I will save. In case they ever do another type of uh, I forget what it's called. Also, Diamond. Nice. Um, the seven-year anniversary uh, player draw event where you can get donate players and then get like a SIG change or a legend or no, a SIG pack or something like that in return. I'll save them for that reason. Except my Met SIGs. My Met signature cards, I will not if I ever pull any, because theoretically speaking, I could just never pull a Met SIG again. Um, my Met SIGs, I will hold on to, literally just for the fact that I can keep them as keepsake. Be like, oh, I have this guy and this guy and this guy. Did you know, I feel like that'd be kind of cool, just collecting team signatures. So that's that plan. Um... I did see, actually, I just saw Craig Kimbrell. The Orioles... Oh, right. I, there was a bit of baseball news as of recent. The Orioles released, or DFA'd, one of the two, Craig Kimbrell. He has just been very, very bad. Especially in the second half. I believe I saw a statistic that 10% of all his earned runs in the course of his career have occurred since, like, June 10th. And it's, like, 20-something runs. And, like, thinking about that, that's insane. That 10% of this man's entire career, which has been going on for more than 10 years now, because he came up in 2011, so it's going on 13, 14 years. All that, 10% have come, damn, damn in like a span of three, four months. A live Jeff McNeil card. It's unfortunate he did get hit by a pitch in the hand and he is now out for the year. He was starting to heat up, but Iglesias has been doing extremely well the past couple of weeks. As I said, Acuna's been doing well. The only unfortunate part is that Vientos has been in a dry stretch and Alonso's just been very bad with runners in scoring position the entire year. So definitely going down the stretch here, I would want those guys to turn it around. But again, we have to see. We have to see how luck goes. We have to see how um, just that bats go. So we will be uh, finishing up with two Ultimate Team Select Packs here. See what we can get. Don't get a diamond. That's all right. We just get two golds. Addison, at first I thought there were two Addison Reeds. I almost was like, whoa, that's crazy. But they are not. So I just edited that. So now we've got here four team select diamond player packs. We will go with the Mets. Last week, of course, the diamond player select packs gave us a lot of prime and vintage luck. Don't see any prime or legend luck here from the team select packs. Or vintages, unfortunate. I have that sig. And I have two sigs after that. I need a sig for that here. So let me go here to now. That was four, so now it's 108. I haven't pulled anything, unfortunately. 
So now I will jump to the premium skill change ticket. No, actually, next up will be SIGs. And what I've planned for SIGs is the three SIG packs. I'm literally just going to open them all at the same time. I'm not going to click and see what I get. Just because, you know, I feel like that alone gives it a little bit of interest of the three of them opening at the same time. Seeing what it's going to get me. Take Jason Hayward here. 67B overall, not terrible. So nothing from the first Diamond Player Select Pack. There's a Met, but not really one I'm interested in, or Prime or Vintage, so I'm not going to take it. We don't get anything here. I'm going to take the Verlander. So we are 0 for 2. That's all right. Two more chances. Two more packs for four more chances. There's a Conforto and nothing from the third one. I'm going to take the Nico Goodrum. And the final one. Let's see what I can get from it. Don't see a Diamond Prime or Vintage. Going to refresh one more time. And okay, so we didn't get anything from this. I'm going to take the Freddie Freeman. Um, no Diamond Primes or Vintages from that. But, you know, we had good luck last time. So I'm not overly mad. So now we've got three Sig Packs here. We don't get a Diamond. We get... A silver and two golds. So I'm just going to open them all quickly at the same time. Let's see what we get. Three, two, one. Are any of them going to be a Met? No, okay. So we get Pat Burrell. We got Clay Holmes. And we get Shohei Otani. So I mean, not bad. I mean, I think the Philly's a new one, honestly. Yeah, that's my first Philly. So one Philly... Now, two Yankees and Angels. Three Angels. All right. Unfortunate that we got an NL East and a New York card, but it, they weren't combined for it to be a Met card, but whatever. Um, I'll take it, you know, it's whatever. It's three SIGs. Um, they gave one for, oh, I didn't even talk about that, right? There's still so much that I have to talk about that I just forget. Otani reached 50-50. Those will all be gotten rid of. So he has pretty much solidified his um, MVP. Congratulations. Going to release that. Not really that big a deal. Um, wow. Seven stamina is crazy. Uh, I don't know who saw, but... Watch my column. What's his name? What's his name? CJ Abrams was demoted to AAA because it was found out. Oh, it's a starting pitcher. That's not that bad for overwhelming pressure. He was found um, at a casino until 8 a.m. when he had a game for the uh, Nationals at 1 o'clock. So the Nationals responded by saying, you are being demoted. You were disobeyed our... Um, we disobeyed our rules of when we can be out and when we can't be out. Oh my gosh, the Marlins just went back to back and have tied the game four to four. Kind of crazy. Anyways, now we've got eight premium skill change tickets to use. I'm going to use them all on Jerry Familia, of course. As I search, that's Hansel Robles. Nope. I'm using them on Familia as I search for literally just a level 4 or higher skill set on him. Pitcher's Chemistry. Okay. That's one legend skill I've seen from the first one. But it's Pitcher's Chemistry. And who cares about Pitcher's Chemistry? I know I don't. You know, I actually thought about like getting Pitcher's Chemistry on him and then putting him in my long relief role. But then I was just like, nah, if I roll pitcher's chemistry, like, with it being on, what's his name? I forget his name. Oh, Rally Fingers. Uh, all pitchers get a plus one boost versus a non-legend. So I'd rather just take the plus one boost for everybody and let Familia be bad. So it is what it is. Um... Two more, haven't really seen anything. So, 
not looking like it'll just be the one uh, pitcher's chemistry set, which is unfortunate, but at least we saw a legend skill. Wow, we saw two, and it's... Oh, it's Fireballer 133. That's bottom skill level four. That's actually decent. I'm, I'll take that. That's a shock. Um, let me just edit here. My odds, 239. I now am at 21 legend skill set scene. Seven high, and it's now three, 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 one skill sets. Oh, my girlfriend's calling me. I must call you back in about five minutes. Sorry, Marissa. All right, so that's actually not terrible. So let's, I hope to land finesse on him. So the skills that I'm looking for, finesse, dom, boss. I have 15 greens. Boss, okay. I'm going to hold off for now because I don't have any regular blue tickets. Um, I'm just debating whether I want boss or do I want to keep searching. Because who would I spend green tickets on? Honestly, I'll keep it for now. I'll keep it for now. But he will now get the blues instead of Syndergaard. Sorry, Syndergaard. Since you've been obnoxious... You've been put to the back burner. Um, okay, so actually pretty beneficial uh, premium skill change tickets. Even though it's not like a level 5 or higher that I normally search for, it gets me just like finished with him. Um, let me also just lock up my SIGs before I combine them away. That would not be ideal. Um so I actually need to see if I have an Addison Reed and what <sighs> name Addison Reed. So I'm going to get rid of that guy because I already have the one. So I'm going to get rid of you and I'm going to put in the gold one. I'm just going to put in the gold one because in case he ever gets taken out of the game, I can just use the... Oh, do I... I might actually save that Javi Baez in case I ever want to switch around Mentor and Crisis so that I can have McNeil like in the back. So I'm going to keep the Baez in case I ever want to swap around what I have for Mentor. Um, so not terrible. You know, next week I will have the... Um, bit of package for you with the live stream. Um, we'll also have double mileage to do. I'll do, I won't do, hmm. I'm trying to think, do I want to save, um, do I want to save double mileage? Like vintage combos? Or, also I need to see who the hell's my second and shortstop. So, hmm. Okay, so I will definitely keep bias. For now. Unless I already have a bias and I'm just dumb. No, doesn't look like it. I'm only guy with two positions in the back up there. Okay, so yeah, so that's pretty much gonna do it for this video, guys. Um we had the three sig packs. I believe I brought I went over everything that I wanted to go over. Um the trainers I'm just gonna have to go through right now. Um the premium skill change that was actually not terrible. So yeah, make sure you guys are ready for next week when I have the live stream. And I thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you guys have gotten anything from the free SIG pack that they gave out for Otani reaching 50-50. And I will see you all next week. Peace.